audio amplifiers are everywhere right uh, whether it be your uh, home theater system or whether it be your simple speakers that are used uh, in a public meeting mm. so we use audio amplifiers to amplify the audio signals uh, to a desired level and then feed those signals to the speakers right mm. this audio amplification can be single stage or multi stage depending on the amount of gain that is required now some of the important parameters of these uh, audio amplifiers are the gain of the audio amplifier the distortion that these audio amplifiers introduce to the signals that are fed to them the amount of noise that is introduced and ultimately the frequency response of these uh, um, audio amplifiers so these are some of the very important parameters which need to be considered while designing an audio amplifier now if we see this is a simple audio amplifier circuit right which is built with a bjt and then several passive components so we see that there is a clear dominance of uh, passive components which play a very crucial role in audio amplification right very clear role right so now um if you see uh, there are uh, resistors and then the capacitors which act as coupling caps um between the speaker and the audio amplifier output so the specifications of these passive components are very very important uh to for the functionality of this audio amplifier now one of the important uh, parameter of the capacitor especially is the voltage coefficient so the voltage coefficient is something um where the which uh, uh, shows the amount of uh, variation of capacitance with the voltage so this is not desirable right why it's not desirable uh, um because you will be amplifying and then you will be <coughs> having various voltages and with these voltages uh, your capacitance should not vary correct it should be stable over a um, given voltage range so a voltage coefficient is a very very crucial factor while selecting the capacitor here and uh, if that capacitance is not uh, uh, constant we might introduce distortion to the uh, signals which are fed to the um, speakers and this might give um, a very bad user experience right so selecting the right capacitor is a very crucial thing and additionally um these capacitors which are used uh, should have a good uh, um thd value total harmonic distortion and it should also have good dielectric strength the capacitors uh, major forte is a dielectric right so the dielectric strength should be high and it should have low dissipation factor mm. so these are the very three important parameters of the capacitors now if we see these three characteristics uh, the first capacitors that come to the mind are the film based capacitors which are basically plastic film based capacitors uh, where the dielectric is actually <coughs> a plastic kind of material so uh, what are those capacitors which have um, which are categorized under film based capacitors are um, the polyester dielectric based capacitors or the polycarbonate dielectric based capacitors or polypropylene any of these capacitors uh, um have a um, good uh, thd and low dissipation factor uh, uh, characteristics uh, that is the reason why these are the capacitors which are found uh, used in audio amplifiers a simple reason why ceramic capacitors are not used because uh, um they vary uh, the capacitance over voltage um so which is not desirable effect so that is why um we see these kind of capacitors the film capacitors used in audio amplifiers for coupling especially 
polycarbonate capacitors um, suit the best uh, when you come to the coupling caps used in audio amplifiers A very very important points right uh, which need to be considered while designing an audio amplifier circuit